The Securities and Defence Studies Programme presented by the National, SA National Defence College um, number 9 of 2023 commenced in uh, January of uh, 2023. Um, the first part of the programme entails a group of dynamics exercise where the programme members, of which there are 32 this year, um, go on a week of um, specialised activities where they get to know one another and which culminates in the election of a regal which symbolises the leader of the uh, programme for the year as well as, as, well as various subcommittees uh, in terms of various administrative um, functions of the programme uh, that helps the, the programme function uh, throughout the full duration of the year. This year um, the Regal was elected by her peers, is Colonel Mohale from the South African Medical Health Service. Uh, we also um, go through a ceremony where the, traditionally the Regal is um, allocated what we call the mace. It's a symbol presented by the Comorant of the South African National Defence College which symbolizes her office um, of bearing for the year. It also symbolizes the, when it is present that the SDSP program members have freedom of academic speech in the program and then the symbol also is used to identify who the regal in this um, matter is. The, sim the actual symbol is a wooden um, mace which is quite large in size uh, which makes it a bit un impractical when one travels uh, or the program travels and therefore there is a smaller version that is referred to as the rod or the regal's rod and that is traditionally um, awarded to the most or the youngest member on the program in this case for this year for the SDSP uh, 09 of 2023 it is uh, Colonel Inglovu. Uh, what makes this uh, ceremony of this year quite significant is number one uh, for the first time in the history of the Security and Defence Studies program uh, since its inception um, about in 2021 is that uh, we have a female uh, regal as well as a female um, bearer of the rod. So, and both members have, happen to be from the South African Medical Health Service. So there's a bit of historical significance in today's ceremony and it's, it's not something that I think one often uh, gets to see. I look forward to serving in this position, mostly so as a SEMS member, proudly that the SEMS is leading in this program. I know that, uh, you know, SEMS looks at uh, medical health issues, and I am proud to say in this program we're going to look at security issues that will affect us as a sense. And for the whole program, I would like to see the whole program moving together towards one goal. Our slogan is leading the future. That means we're leading the future in security studies, not only defense studies, but national security. So we're looking forward to leading this future together as a whole course, moving together, making sure that all 32 of us, including the seven international fellows that are on course, move together towards one goal. Health Warriors, serving the brave.